stitches show and that means a whole new calendar blanket project. This year we are going to make our mighty mile a minute blanket. Mile a minute blankets are made by creating long strips of fabric, pretty little stitch pattern, usually with a built-in border that are then all joined together to make one big thing, like a blanket. The exact origins of a mile a minute are kind of as legendary as a granny square. They're a really cool way to get comfortable with a stitch pattern, to use up yarn that you might have lying around, and to make something useful, like a nice cozy blanket. Our mighty mile a minute blanket is no exception to the rule. You can use up the yarn you have on hand, you can go out and buy yarn, especially for this project if you like, or you can just use scraps as they come to you. I'm going to be mixing up the colors as we go through the year, and of course, there are 12 months in a year, so there are going to be 12 different strips for this blanket. And this month, we are going to start with a classic. This is the simple split shell pattern. It is lightning fast, hence the name Mile a Minute. It is super simple and it works up to make a very attractive looking strip of fabric. I have a lot of size 4 medium weight acrylic yarn in my stash, so that's what I'm going to be using. But you can use cotton if you have a lot of cotton. You can use acrylic if you have a lot of acrylic. If you like using wool, you can use wool. This blanket is entirely up to you. You can also mess around with the weights of your yarn. So if you have more DK weight yarn or you want to use more Aran weight yarn, you can do that too. Just remember that whatever hook size you start with, whatever yarn weight you start with, and whatever fiber you start with, you want to use all three the same throughout the year. That way, at the end of the project, you'll have a blanket that completely fits together neatly and you can wash it without worry too. So let's grab our hooks, grab our yarn, we'll head on over to the craft table and we will stitch up the January split shell strip together. Easily find all of our crochet tutorials. Type youtube.com slash jadeandstitches into your web browser and we'll see you there. I'm using a size 4 medium weight acrylic yarn and I'm making a strip of fabric in the split shell pattern that is approximately 60 inches long by 3.5 inches wide or 150 centimeters by 9 centimeters. To that end I'm going to need approximately 90 yards of my main stitch color and about 80 yards of my border color. I need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle and the hook I'm using is a 5.5 millimeter. That's an I or a 9 in the US a size 5 in the old UK. And once you've got all that together, we can get started. We're all going to begin with a slip knot using our pattern stitch color. I'm starting with a nice bright red today. And we're going to chain 12 to begin. Once we have 12 chains, we're going to count backwards from the hook until we find the 8th chain. So here it is here, that's my eighth chain away from the hook, and into that chain we're going to work three double crochet. So sometimes when you create a double crochet, the long turning chain has to be a little slower, just so that it doesn't keep twisting on you. So two more double crochet. So that was first three double crochet are all worked into the same chain, that's the eighth chain away from the hook. And in order to make this a split shell pattern, we're going to chain two and we're going to work three more double crochet into the same chain. So a split shell in terms of this pattern is three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. And if that sounds familiar, it's probably because you made the granny square along with me. <laughs> That's a corner. You can definitely see how it has sort of a 90 degree angle to it. So three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, all worked into that same chain. We skip three chains, that should leave you with one chain, and you're going to double crochet into that last chain. So let's take a look at that first row. You've got a turning chain of seven, which really is double crochet, three chains skipped, a split shell, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, all worked into the same chain. You skip three chains and double crochet into the last chain. So let's get another row going here, and that'll really help shape up this stitch. Every row begins with a chain three and turn. That chain three counts as a double crochet or this post that we have at the end of every row. Reach across to that chain two space, that's the middle of the split shell, and work a split shell. So three double crochet. Chain two, 
chain two, and three more double crochet all worked into the same space. Nice and simple. Three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. To finish the row, you hop across to the top of the turning chains, so you just turn them around if you need to, and double crochet into the top of the turning chains. There we go, that's two rows done. So you've got a post on the edge of each row and a split shell in the middle, and those posts are either three chains or a double crochet. Let's do another row. Chain three, counts as a double crochet, that's a post, turn your work, reach across to that middle of that split shell from the previous row, work three double crochet into it, chain two, and three more double crochet. Finish the row, reach across to the top of the turning chains. If you have to flip them around, you can do that. It doesn't really matter. Just grab the top of it, double crochet into the top of the turning chains, and that completes the row. So there you go. That is the split shell mile a minute stitch. Nice and quick, lightning fast. Look, we were only three, three rows in. Every row begins with a chain three, turn, split shell in the middle, and then jump across to the top of the turning chains, double crochet to finish the row, and you keep on going. We're going to do this for 77 rows in total, and then we're going to finish off the stitch and add the border. So you just continue working away on the split shell stitch, and I will see you at the end of row 77. I have completed 77 rows of the split shell pattern. And it's pretty easy to count. You just look for one set of shells that sit on top of each other, and each shell represents a row. I went ahead and I marked every tenth row with a stitch marker so that I could make counting faster and easier for myself. This is, after all, a mile a minute blanket. And now we are going to finish off or square off the top of our split shell pattern to make it easier to add a border. So this was 77 rows, number 78 is a slightly different looking row. We're going to chain six to begin. So there's three and another three. So that's six chains. Turn your work. This counts as a double crochet and a chain three spacer or sort of a, a, the same equal amount of space that is at the bottom of our strip. Into the top, we are going to just single crochet so right into that space, single crochet, chain three to mimic the bottom, and then we're going to double crochet into the top of the turning chain. So we're just squaring off the top. And that is row 78. Looks different than the rest of it, but it does square off the top nice and neatly. That is it. You can snip your yarn, you can fasten off and weave in your tail, or you can work over top of it. Weaving in your tails is kind of a nice neat way to get yourself set up for the next step. So I'm just going to slip that into my yarn needle, pull it down the length of that last double crochet, just slip it through some of these stitches and then weave it back and forth underneath the double crochets of that 77th row. And I'm just going to go back and forth a few times until it's completely and solidly woven in. We're going to add our border now, and the border row for every single strip in our mighty mile a minute blanket is going to be the shell stitch. Nice simple shell stitch. This looks great on a variety of different patterns. It's pretty simple and repetitive, and it's also easy to do a join as you go style joining method when you use this stitch pattern. So that's what we're going to do. We all begin with a slip knot. I've switched to a nice light pink, and we're going to start in the top, so this is row 78 up here, into this corner. We're going to join our yarn with a slip stitch. We're going to chain three to begin. The chain three counts as a double crochet, and we're going to work two more double crochets into this 
space. And we're not going to make the shell corner um, to start. We're just going to start with a simple shell. We'll finish our row of shells in the same space, but I'll show you what that looks like when we get a background to it. Into that little single crochet, so that middle stitch there from the previous row, we're going to work three double crochet into the top of it. We're not chaining in between our shells. It's just three double crochet, three double crochet, three double crochet, over and over and over. So three double crochet, three double crochet, and one more shell across the top into that big space, three more double crochet. And if some of your stitches look jammed together, don't worry about it. It's all going to come out in the end. So there's our three shells across the top to begin. When you get to a corner, you're going to chain two and into the same space, three more double crochet. So that quintessential granny square style corner shell, chain two shell or three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. And if it looks familiar, that's exactly the stitch we were doing all the way throughout this strip. Shell, chain two shell or three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. So that should be pretty easy for you to remember going forward. And working down the long sides, nice and simple. Every time you come to a space, work three double crochet into it. So you're essentially going to have a three double crochet shell worked along the side of every single one of your rows. So there's a space, here's a space, three double crochet, three double crochet in each space all the way down and I'll catch up with you at the bottom. We've worked three double crochet into the edge, the big space at the side of every single sort of row all the way down the side. We get to the bottom and that's what the bottom looks like. And we're just going to repeat what we did across the top. So into that big space, you work your last three double crochet shell of the long edge. We need to chain two to turn the corner and we're going to work three individual shells across the bottom. So one more into that big corner space. So three double crochet in there. Into the middle, that space that's right underneath the split shell that we started the whole thing with, you're going to work three double crochet in there. So that's the middle shell. Remember, we're not chaining one between our shells. We're just crocheting sets of three double crochet one after another. And then we're into the other big space on the other side. So three double crochet, that's the last shell along the bottom of our strip. There we go. You can pull that out to the corner. Chain two to turn the corner and now we're going up the other long edge. So we start with three double crochet in the same space. So shell, chain two shell or three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet in each corner space. And then just like the other long side, you're going to work three double crochet into every space along that edge. And I'll see you back up at the top. Once you've worked that all the way up the other long edge, you're going to get back to that first big space that we started in. You're going to work your last three double crochet into the same space that you started your border row in. There we go. Chain two to turn the last corner and you're going to join the whole row with a slip stitch to the top of that chain three that you began with. So it looks like that. You can fasten off. And take a moment to weave in your short tails. You should have a few of them or two of them at least up here. And um, if you've got any other little tails left over from the build of your strip, then definitely take a moment to weave them all in now. That 
is 60 inches of beautiful split shell strip. Already the first addition to our 2021 calendar blanket, all ready to go. It really did come together quickly. I had enough time to watch about two YouTube videos <laughs> while I was crocheting. I love it. It's a quick and fun project. It's a great way to use up our scraps with the kind of yarn you have on hand. You can really get fun, um, crazy with the colors if you want to. And the whole thing will look super neat when we've got it all together at the end of the year. So we will see you every first Friday of the month for the next installment of our calendar blanket. And of course, all the Fridays in between, we'll see you for other fun projects too. So make sure if you're not subscribed to our channel to subscribe, share this video with your friends, especially if people are new to learning stitch patterns in the crochet world, and be sure to like it too. That helps us out a lot. And if you want to support the show further, feel free to pop over to our Etsy shop and pick up a pattern, maybe purchase one of our t-shirts in our Teespring shop, or join the channel and become a family member with us here at the Institute Show. We hope you enjoyed making this strip along with us this week, and we will see you soon here on the Jada and Stitches Show. Until then, stay safe, stay crafty, and have an awesome week. Bye, everybody! Hi, everybody! Mr. and Stitches here. Thank you for watching today. Here are some of our other videos you might be interested in. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe!